Hey everyone, it's Brian. I have a question from a viewer, a viewer named Kyle. Kyle. Kyle writes me, hi Brian, big fan. Thank you very much, Kyle, I appreciate it. He is becoming a math tutor, or, or at least a math system. I'll read the message here. He says that uh, during his finals week, he applied to be a math learning assistant at his university's tutoring center and was recently accepted. That's great, congratulations, Kyle. It's a nice step forward in your math career. More power to you. He's excited and he's passed Calc 1 through 3 and differential equations. So these are already great things, great accomplishments in and of themselves. But he feels a little unprepared to fully explain these classes to struggling students. So it sounds like Kyle is going to be a new tutor, tutoring calculus and differential equations. You know, tough classes, especially when you're just coming off finishing them yourself and he says maybe this sounds familiar to you I've experienced a polarizing feeling in my independent tutoring sessions similar to imposter syndrome and he wants to know how did I squash my initial uneasiest my initial uneasiness when I first began tutoring calculus what do you do if you can't get the information across to a student it seems like there is an immense amount of pressure put on the tutors to make sure the students get the help that they need. Wow, that's a really great question. And it's something that I think every single tutor, especially math tutors, struggle with when, when they start tutoring a new subject. It's definitely something I worried about. I know my biggest fear when I started tutoring a class and even now when I tutor a class, my biggest fear is students bringing me questions that I just don't know how to answer or maybe I used to know how to answer but no longer do I remember how to do those things or maybe I just do a horrible job explaining um, the process to the student. Th this is part of the job and I think the best thing to do is just get your hands dirty. You need to go in with the mindset that you don't know everything, you know, and that's that's okay. You are just starting your journey. It's okay to not know everything. It's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to make mistakes. I think too often, especially in math, right? Mistakes are, are very discouraged. People think mistakes are horrible and you shouldn't make mistakes. I say, forget it. Mistakes are great. Mistakes are how you learn. And if you're a university student or you're just coming off taking these classes yourself, it sounds like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself that uh, you need to be perfect at this thing. You, you say there's immense amount of pressure on tutors to make sure the students uh, get the knowledge that they need. And maybe that's true. I can't say for your particular university, but I'm not sure where, where is this intense pressure coming from. I think most people, you know, would understand that if you're young, you know, and you're just getting off these courses yourself, they're not expecting you to have the years and years of knowledge that a calculus teacher or professor would have. You know, so there is a certain expectation from the student. I would guess that um, they, the student should expect that this isn't going to be like the end-all, be-all solution. The responsibility of learning, at least in my mind, is more on the student. So what has happened to me in the past that uh, is, is a struggle with, a, with being a tutor is that students will come expecting the tutor to be the real resource, you know, or expecting the tutor to be a replacement for going to class and doing homework. And that is, that is not the tutor's job. The tutor's job is not to replace, you know, the things the students should be doing anyway. It's not your responsibility Okay, it's not your responsibility, it's the student's responsibility. And if you don't know something, that's fine. I can't tell you how many times I haven't known something or I haven't known how to answer a question. What do I do in that situation? Well, usually I'll look into Google, I'll look at other examples, you know, I'll ask the student, hey, do you have your notes? Hey, do you have a similar question? Do you know anybody else in the class that's around? It's really great if there are other tutors around. If there are other tutors around, you can just say, hey, you know, let me go ask my other tutor, or maybe you just bring the other tutor over, and you can answer the questions together. There's not as much <laughs> downside to this as you think. Maybe that, maybe you think that makes you look 
like you don't know what you're doing and you know the fact of the matter is you can't answer every question out there it's it's just it's impossible there are too many questions there are too many particular things you're gonna have bad days you're gonna have good days there's too many things going on and so at least in my case I eventually just had to accept that <laughs> I'm not gonna know everything and and that's okay you know you do your best and that's the best that you can do and the thing is the uneasiness goes away it goes away after a time so just going in there knowing you're gonna be uncomfortable it's okay I'll tell you a little story here while I'm thinking about it the second time I ever tutored I think it was the second time I tutored calculus uh, you know I was, <laughs> was definitely not used to it and I was working with a girl and uh, I was explaining I have something about limits and I had made a mistake and I or, or was it no I think she made a mistake and I was trying to reassure her, you know, I told her, you know what, it's okay, it's okay to make mistakes. And she says, no, it's not. And it kind of got, it got a little bit heated. It was very uncomfortable. I didn't know how to handle the situation. And just, it made me like question a lot of things. Like, am I ready to be a tutor? You know, all these things. That uneasiness, it's part of the job. It will go away. You're going to get more comfortable with it. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it and try to have some fun this is supposed to be a good experience for you and i promise if you're open to it it will be a good experience so these are just just my thoughts i hope it was helpful i hope you have a good time kyle and i hope you have a great day thanks for watching